Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the virus total application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's going to allow you to check if there are no harmful apps on your device. And that's really important if you want to stay safe. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get virus total to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. And to do so, we go to search on your device and start typing the loader in the search bar. And then, as you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings so click on the home button on your remote and let's go to the settings by clicking on that button with the gear icon. After that, scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. And from here, we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. You just need to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options which appeared right here. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, you have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it, and here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, we just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Canada right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for, v for a VPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta open the loader, wait until the app loads for you, then on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure to click on Home, and then here in the search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and do not make any mistakes, because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. And after that, you have to click on Go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, after the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a bit. 
until we see a list of categories. And from here, we'll have to click on Antivirus and Cleaners. Then a list of apps is going to appear, which we just scroll down a bit, and there at the bottom you'll find Virus Total Application, which is exactly what we're looking for. So now let's click on Virus Total. Then an ad might pop up for you. If it does pop up, do not worry and just click on Close to close down the ad. So we have to click on X. And now a new web page should load in just a couple of seconds. Yeah, there it is. So we also have to scroll down, keep scrolling, until you see the download for TV Android TV button. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now we gotta click on it, and in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long. Then you have to click on install and wait until virus auto application gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device. After that, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device, so click on Delete and then Delete once again. This way, you get rid of unnecessary files from the Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device, and that's super important, because by default you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Then finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, we open it, wait until the list loads, and here at the bottom you'll find Virus Total. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Virus Total is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Now let's enter the application and pretty much accept the terms of service and then click on scan. And now it will take some time to scan your device and check if there are no viruses. And as you can see, the scan was completed. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye.